state your name for the folks at home? Nicole. Nicole! Where are you from, Nicole? New Jersey. New Jersey. <laughs> I see. <laughs> are you now, or have you at any time, been on the Jersey Shore? Mildly, actually. <laughs> really? <laughs> Shut the front door! When? I was walking by. Huh? You were walking by the Jersey Shore? Like Snooky just kind of scuttled like, by you? She was like looking for the beach. I don't know. Really? Meatballs and you were abound. on it? Yeah. <laughs> You're the first Jersey Shore person I've allowed on this show. <laughs> now, let me see. Let's, uh, let's have a talk okay. about your hair. I like it. Thank you. No, I do. Uh, what, uh, that's uh, purple? Lavender. Sorry. It's okay. Now, when I, when I was a youngster, like you, I, a lot of people were doing their hair that color, and I was one of them. <laughs> did you do it yourself? I did. Are you a hairdresser? No. What do you do for a living? I'm a makeup artist. Ah. <laughs> No, that's great. Do you work in Hollywood? Sometimes. Really? Have you done anyone in Hollywood that I... <laughs> or have you even just given them some makeup? I... Uh, uh, student films. Student mainly. films. I've done some student films. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I didn't know they were student films at the time. <laughs> I thought they were big independent features. Yeah. Is that what you want to do then? Work on the uh, work in the studios. The features like make create like the Grinch and stuff like that. Make monsters. Yeah, what like that's do. what you want to do. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Well, good. <laughs> it's amazing when you think like this is really on TV right now. Damn shame. <laughs> When you do your hair, mm -hmm. like when I dyed my hair, I, uh, I dyed all, 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 all my hair. <laughs> Passes the time, doesn't it? Passes the time. But a lady would never tell. No. I did mine blind last night. That's why I came out this purple. Oh, you didn't mean it to go purple? No, it was supposed to be, like, lighter. <laughs> Available for your student film. <laughs> anything. We'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. Show with Craig Ferguson, sponsored by Progressive. Visit Progressive.com today. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. convincing indeed. I almost believed it myself. <laughs> I'm also very excited because someone came out and cleaned the floor right before I came out. You see that? <laughs> Somebody came out and cleaned the floor. He walked by me and said, I'm just going to clean the floor. I said, couldn't you wait? <laughs> he cleaned the floor and it's true. It looks so clean. 
If it wasn't the same colour as everything else and badly lit, you could see how clean <laughs> it is. <laughs> Unfortunately, all you can see is my hands, my shirt, a tie and my big peepers. <laughs> and also my eyes. <laughs> hey. Greg, are you implying you have large testicles? Implying? I'm flat out saying it. <laughs> Please don't applaud my large testicles, they'll recede in shyness. <laughs> They're like octopuses. They come out, and then if you make too much noise, they go in. <laughs> Is it octopuses or octopi? Well, I think it must be octopuses because of that movie, Octopussy. <laughs> That's a movie, that was a real movie, Octopussy, about this. Never mind what it's about. <laughs> you know what it's about. Anyway, it's a great day for America, everybody. Yes, indeed. It is. And a great day, a great day for my old pal, President Bush. He was back at the White House today. Yeah, my old pal, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was, uh, President Bush was back at the White House today because they were unveiling his official portrait. Can we see it? There you are. Oh, there you are. <laughs> Wait a minute, is that? Is, is he standing behind it? <laughs> The way it's set up, it looks like it's just a frame and he's just standing like that. <laughs> I sometimes stand like that, too. Because of my enormous testicles. Anyway, they... <laughs> No, you know the weird thing about the, uh, the portrait of Bush? That right after they hung the portrait, its eyes popped out and Dick Cheney's eyes looked through the hole. <laughs> and, oh, yes. No, oh, it's too late. Too late. Now, it is not such a great day for, uh, for my old pals, the residents of New York City. Yeah, everybody's my old pal tonight. I'm trying a new thing. I'm trying a new thing. I'm trying to ingratiate myself with the audience by implying that we're old pals. <laughs> I have got some old pals in New York. Look, that's beside the point. What I'm saying is the people of New York are having it rough because Mayor Bloomberg... Bloomberg you know him, Bloomberg. <laughs> Mayor Bloomberg... <laughs> Mayor Bloomberg is, is, is cracking down on the dangerous threat to the Big Apple right now. Sodas. <laughs> it's true. He wants to outlaw sodas and other sugary drinks over 16 ounces. The, the, in the streets of Manhattan, people were enraged. They were yelling. They were shaking their fists. Then they found out about the soda ban. They're going crazy. <laughs> I know what you're thinking, people who don't live in New York. Who is this Mayor Bloomberg who thinks he can tell people what they can and can't drink? He's probably one of those vegan fascists that drives a Prius and poops out tofu. Well... <laughs> Can I see a picture of what Mayor Healthy had for lunch yesterday? Yes! <laughs> and what's that available behind him? Sodas. <laughs> Although this ban only applies to large sodas, 16 ounces or more. So if the sodas were Kardashians, they'd only be banning Chloe, is what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm just trying to use a language you'll understand. <laughs> New Yorkers, uh, I got a tip for you. Here's a way to get round the ban. Buy two 12-ounce sodas. <laughs> <laughs> then you, all the soda you can drink in exchange for paying twice the sales tax. <laughs> Bloomberg, you midget genius. <laughs> Health experts say that banning sugary drinks is a way to cure the obesity epidemic, but the soda industry says they have a medical studies proving that soda does not cause obesity. Unfortunately, these studies were done by a certain Dr. Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> that is so stupid. Anyway, this ban... They, see, what the trouble is, the ban even applies to New York's legendary street vendors. And you can bet those guys that are selling wieners along Broadway aren't happy about that, and, and neither are the hot dog vendors. <laughs> Restrictions on what people can and can't uh, drink, eat and drink are part of what's known as the nanny state, because the government has taken on the role of a nanny. Now, I will admit... I used to think the idea of the nanny state wasn't that bad because I thought it might, you know, involve government-sponsored spankings. But <laughs> it doesn't. <laughs> now, look, I 
ain't one of your big city lawyers, and maybe this is just my ass talking, but since when is it a crime to be obese? I don't want the government to declare a war on fat people. Except for maybe the part where the fat people flee in terror. That would be hilarious. <laughs> Their tiny little feet. Oh! <laughs> it's, it's a joke. Look, I I try to limit my sugar intake. That's why I eat the little fun-sized candy bars. But I eat them 50 at a time. Doesn't make any sense. <laughs> By the time I'm finished eating them, nobody's having any fun. <laughs> my almond joy turns to almond shame. <laughs> it's difficult, because I quit drugs and alcohol, so sugar's one of the few vices I have left. <laughs> uh, that, and I smoke a little crack sometimes before I come out here. <laughs> I gotta stay loose, you know. <laughs> that ain't mine. That ain't mine. <laughs> but here's the thing. Here's the, thanks. Uh, <laughs> round of applause for smoking crack. <laughs> the ban in New York City. In New York City. Yes. <laughs> New York City. <laughs> the story of a young chimney sweep trying to make his way in Broadway. <laughs> New York City, who will let me clean their chimney? <laughs> uh, so I had quite a lot of crack before I came out tonight. They, uh, the ban in New York City also includes movie theaters. So it's very difficult for me to go to a movie without soda. I'll have to find something else to annoy people around me, you know. <laughs> something I can, I can play with and slurp on noisily so they can't hear the movie. I guess I think of something. <laughs> My penis. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure we would, that nobody was like, what, 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 what were you saying? Are you implying? Uh, no, I'm not implying. I'm flat out saying it. <laughs> it's what's known as a single entendre. <laughs> There's no double meaning. I'm just saying it. <laughs> Are you worried about the soda ban, Joe? Oh, oh, terribly, yeah. terribly. Yeah. You, you enjoy you enjoy a, a big gulp. <laughs> yeah, I like a nice uh, pop now and again. Yeah. <laughs> that's what they, that's you know what they call soda in Scotland. What Gen do they? What do no, they? I'll tell you. This is true. It's not a joke. <laughs> it's a little fan with everything else. <laughs> Ginger. They call it ginger? Ginger, yeah, they call it, would you, would you like some ginger? They're like, yes. Whereas, you know, ginger here is what we call red-haired people. <laughs> so, no, sometimes we, you know, that's it's not demeaning. They like it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, go on, call me ginger. Oh, all right then. <laughs> no, they, uh, they, that's what you call soda in Scotland, ginger. Well, ginger. in my part of Scotland. Yeah, I, I think uh, New York City was a ginger. Wasn't he a ginger? New York City? New York City. The, the, yeah, the New chimney sweep? Yeah, the famous New York City. Who yeah. will let me clean their chimney? <laughs> Care to? Uh... I'd like to. Thank you. Tonight's program is brought to you by Uncle Craig's Old Fashioned Soda Pop, the delicious drink that may cause tooth decay, bone loss, obesity, shortness of breath, nearsightedness, paralysis. You get the idea. We'll be right back after this. <laughs> Jeff, play with me. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Pretty good. Have you ever dyed your hair, Jeff? <laughs> 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 you don't have hair. Yeah, yeah. That was my thing. Yeah. I watch you when you sleep. <laughs> At least you're watching. <laughs> Um, what time is it, Jeffrey Peterson? Well, I'd love to tell you, Craig. Well, then go ahead and tell me right now, please. It's Tweet Mail time, brought to you by the new hit musical, New York City. He's a chimney sweep who's sweet, cheap, and working the streets. <laughs> you want to you wanna play a jingle or you want to just do a jingle? We could do a jingle. All right, then. We'll, yeah. do, a, we'll do a selection, well, a little bit, a snippet from the show, New York City. New York City, yeah. All right, okay. Ready? Yeah. 
Governor, I've just come from London. I'm looking for a chimney in New York. <laughs> Well, I think you'll do, sir. I think you'll do. Just come in this back room now. Here, here. Hold on a minute. How come you talk like me when you live in New York and I have travelled here from elsewhere? It looks like our show's about to close. <laughs> <laughs> Tweets and emails. Ba -ba -da -ba. Yeah, yeah. All right, um... This is uh, from uh, Jeremy in Madison, Wisconsin. You ever been to Madison, oh, Wisconsin? Oh, Madison. Yes, yes, Jeremy. Quickly, yeah, right. sure. Dear Craig and Jeff, my girlfriend bought me a cat for my birthday, even though I'm allergic. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> Sneeze, shortbread. <laughs> well. <laughs> it's a slang word, man. <laughs> All right, this is from Corey in Lafayette, Louisiana. You, you ever been down there? Oh, down I love there, it down uh, Louisiana? There. Yeah, I love yeah, it. You like it down there? Oh, yeah. You ever go out to the bayou? Oh, I love the. Of course, I got a place over there. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, well, what do you do at your place there well, in the I bayou? I like to uh, disrobe and go swimming. And, go, uh, go swimming? Sure. Yeah, that's dangerous. They got gators. They certainly do. <laughs> <laughs> I see. All right. Hi, Craig and GP. I found a lot of extra fireworks in the garage. What should I do with them? You know what to do. <laughs> Hand them into the authorities. <laughs> Jeff, what should he do with the extra fireworks he found in the garage? I say put them in your pants and light them up. Okay. <laughs> this is from Brenda. If for legal reasons, he doesn't mean that. For Brenda, Brenda. This is from Brenda in Santa Barbara, in California. You ever read it? You ever been to California? Beautiful there, yeah. Yeah, yeah, California. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Lovely place. Yeah. Sure. Dark, though. Uh, very dark. Very dark. Uh, <laughs> dark. One of the darker states. A lot of people think California's all uh, sunshine and surfing and Botox and third nipples, but it's not. It's, uh, it's dark, isn't it? It's dark, but the floors are shiny. The floors are shiny. You can say what you like about California, but they keep the floors clean. <laughs> Hi, Craig and Jeff. I'm supposed to go surfing with... See, I could tell this is from California. It's about surfing. Oh, yeah. 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 I'm supposed to go surfing with friends this weekend, but I don't know how to. Any suggestions on how to fake it? <laughs> uh, sure. <laughs> Just stand on the board and don't fall off. <laughs> You ever been surfing? Oh yeah, yeah, I love, love surfing. Really? You, do you, how do you manage that with your flex? It's only 12 feet long, so how the hell do you... Do, how do you get an outlet out there in the water? Don't push me, man. <laughs> this is from uh, Margie in Phoenix, Arizona. I love it in Phoenix. Oh, it's nice. Oh, it's yes, hot yeah. out there, though, in the summer. See, sometimes you get out in Phoenix, you get out your car and poof! You, you disintegrate? No, I was, I, was, I was using the word poof to mean something else. Is, is that the sound your giant testicles make when you take them out of your pants? Yep, that's right. Uh, what, you want me to finish and do a commercial break? What, what, don't get passive aggressive with me. <laughs> All right, dear Craig and Jeff, whenever I strike up a... Oh, uh, this is the one before the commercial break. Get ready! Uh, <laughs> Whenever I strike up a conversation with someone sitting next to me on a plane, I tend to embellish about my life. Is that weird? No, I've sat next to you many times, Margie. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back.
my first guest tonight is a very beautiful woman. She's a very talented writer and actress. She's a good friend of the show. She's my old pal. <laughs> she actually is. Please welcome the adorable Carrie Fisher, everybody. Carrie Fisher. <laughs> Fisher in the purple sweater. Is it purple or lavender? Uh, judging from that woman's hair, yeah. it's purple. It's very nice. I like the color purple. It, 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 it's kind it's of a crazy title, also. What? The color purple. The color purple. We should write something like that. No. No, I wanted to cover up. You know how we're always talking about. Well, and I quote you in my, about if I got a breast reduction, two angels would lose their wings. That's what happens. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So, um, Are you trying to cover up your breasts I using am cardigan power? Using purple cardigan power. It's not working. Well, thank you so much. Well, my, they're the new black, though, my breasts, aren't they? Sure. <laughs> my daughter said it was okay. I cleared my eyes. She said if I wore these glasses, I'd look kind of cavalierly intellectual. She didn't say that. Right, right. But if what, she, what she said was, she I hate you, Mom. Stop yeah. calling me. Yeah. She said, as long as you wear a bra, I don't give a darn what you wear on the show. Oh. No, I, I did I, ask her once, what do I do that embarrasses you? My job is to embarrass her, so what's yeah, what, what, the headline? Yeah, what works, yeah. Bra. Well, you don't wear one? Well, I didn't in the past. <laughs> it was in the past. Gotta wear, gotta wear a bra. I wear a bra. I see that. Yeah. And it looks... But not in the usual place, no, which is no, what's I, so I, nice. I wear it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you see what you did. Ball bra. You did, it, you did the ball bra. You, you the went, ball you bra gag. Yeah. I went there, yeah. 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 Now, How have you been? I haven't seen you in a while. I've been very relaxed. Where have you been? I don't, have you been at home? Oh, 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 oh I brought gosh. you a gift. What, what happened? Oh, what did I do? Oh, oh, well, what's I don't wrong? Know it's it not an earthquake. What are you doing? I'm, I'm, oh, here. No, I've been I've been to Asia a lot, which oh, is, was it not my fault. And you got a but, plaid bag? And this is from you Scotland. Got... We stopped over Scotland. You, you went to Scotland? No. That's not in Asia. I have been to Scotland. Right. You didn't invite me, but all right, so here's your gifts. Oh, I'm thank you very much. So that one is from China and one's from it's, Japan. Uh, this is not it? That one is not it. Okay. No, uh, that's not it. One is China, one's from Japan. And one's sort of for Jeff also. Oh, right. Oh, that's, that's lovely. That's what, for what Jeff. Is... It's a, okay, do something. It is a, hey, it's a, it's hey, a, it's hey, a robot. Hey. Do your thing now. <laughs> all right. They told me to, oh, they told me to, oh, okay, oh, see. Oh, yeah, there you go, yeah. See. All right, yeah. They told me to. Okay. Oh, yeah. And Decent. it does that whenever yeah. you pass by. It, it, it. And they said not to mention that it looked like anything weird. All right. But I didn't get it for that, and I didn't know it looked like anything weird. I thought mushrooms. I still don't. I still don't think exactly. it looks like anything. Exactly. But you have very sensitive sensors or no, no, sensitors. They, 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 ooh, nice. No, they, <laughs> they've been brutalized. Uh, by yeah, my. I bet. Ooh, this is lovely. Isn't that nice? What is, this is my very own uh, jar of midging puke. Yes. yes. <laughs> That's it. You. <laughs> You don't have it already, do you? I don't. I, I'm, I'm all out of majoring puke. Good, what? thank God. What, what is it? I got it at the Beijing Opera, and I didn't understand it. All I knew was it said puke, and it had, you know, reminded me of you. I, I like that. that. That looks like us here. That's right. Yeah, it's That's like, right. like us going to a casino. And the yeah. old days of the puking and the drugs and everything. That yeah, all yeah, yeah. Well, no, we okay. never did. I'm just going to turn this off. No, we never did. A and... <laughs> And, but by the way, I was wondering backstage watching all this, what were you like on drugs? Because if this is sober... <laughs> a lot of times on drugs, I was sleepy. Oh! Yeah. And was there this involved? Well, there was a little bit of measuring puke every now and again, okay. yeah. Okay. What were, you in, were you doing your show in Asia? I don't think so. I mean, it didn't... Oh, you know, I have... Hey! I'm sorry. Oh. Uh, that's more like it. I didn't get too near the bra, though. Yeah, uh, no, no, you're all Is right. Is the I've, strap I've got them... this way, or... Never mind. I don't want to know. It spoils it. <laughs> all you have to know is it lifts and separates. Uh. Uh. <laughs> 
<laughs> that really is all I have to know. <laughs> ever. <laughs> ever. And that's right, what right. scares me. Right. No, you were in Asia. What were you doing then? Well, I, I don't have a bucket list because I don't like terms like that. Right. They hurt me. Mm. But uh, I did want to go to the ice festival of, well, now I forget where, Harbin. Harbin, which is the Detroit of China. I see. And, um, <laughs> and they have, but they have ice cities that wow, are really? lit by neon. We all would have gone there on acid, but it's too cold. Too cold, yeah, yeah, yeah. So then you just go and it is beautiful. So you weren't on acid? We weren't, but it was really cold. And so you were glad that you weren't on Well, acid. there's a lot of times I'm glad I'm not on acid and, <laughs> and, and it's room temperature. No, right. But this, you would like, have been right, really... Right now, it's kind, this is kind of room temperature. I'm still glad I'm not on acid. <laughs> I'm glad you're not also. Oh, man. But if we both were, I would be really not glad. What if we were both actually on acid and this was just part this of our trip like. that we never came back oh from? Oh, my God. This is what acid did to us. I actually am afraid that's true. You know what? It's kind of freaking me out now a little bit. Ah! Ah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I know. I don't uh, remember how you come down. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. That's not important. What's important is that you lift and separate. <laughs> and that I'm here to support you in that. So I was in Harbin and I was in other weird places where they don't even have televisions. Bhutan. I don't like that at all. I know, it was ups <laughs> How the hell would I make a living if they don't... And they're apparently happy there. They're happy? Without TV? I don't think <laughs> so. <laughs> Communist? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It really, not the kind of happy we know. You consumer happy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Pop, 16 ounce. Oh, 16 ounce sodas. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. happy. Yeah, These people aren't happiness happy. Happiness is a 16 ounce soda. Exactly. Yeah. I don't even know how big that is, but yeah, never it's, mind. It's pretty big, 16 ounce. So you can just, okay, never mind. I'll we ask to, you we later. We have to take a break. Michael's going crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, We'll be right back. We'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. That was really <laughs> That fast. was a really dirty story. <laughs> <laughs> so, listen, <clears throat> you just got a dog, you say? Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> I do, and it's not a euphemism. Not that, that's not the type of dog. No, no, no. And a, do, a single entendre would just be an entendre, by the way, but never mind. Let's not, <laughs> let's not talk about that now. No, I got the same dog that, that you have. Well, the, I well, I'll have three dogs, so take your pay. I got okay. a German Shepherd, I got the Jack Russell, I got the French Bulldog. Ah, ah. Don't pull my finger. I, no. <laughs> You'll go amazing cute. Uh, uh, no, I got a, um, well, my daughter got it. Because if I say Fre I got French it, bulldog? A French bulldog. Oh, you're that, mad. You're mad. It's the smelliest dog I've ever owned. There has a, a smelly quality that's been creeping in lately. Oh, they are, they just, it's like living next to a petrochemical plant. Yeah. And I live next door to my mom. So right, that so there you are then. Perfectly. Yeah, no, but I mean. No, but my mom is obsessed with my other real dog, uh, Dwight. I have another dog. Don't ask me the type it is because it's a French name and it embarrasses me. Okay, then. And I she am. does, look what he does, look what he does. He jumps up on her lap and he puts his head down her lap and she goes like this. I just kills me when he does that. <laughs> so those are my stories. Wow, I see. Uh, so she go. doesn't like Gary that much. And Gary's not... the French bulldog? Mm -hmm. Nice name. Well, the upsetting thing is I found out that um, that of uh, the woman that used to, whose two talk show you went on, has Chelsea, been, Chelsea Handler, Chelsea Handler with the vibrating. Yes, she named her dog Gary. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> vibrating. Whoa. Oh, the chair. Oh no, Chelsea, Chelsea. I was, I was in her dressing room. Have you ever done her show? No, but oh, now it's, that it's I great. know, it's, in her in her dressing room at her show, she had for guests. She has a vibrating massage chair, and it was awesome. I like, I was like thinking about it, you know. Yeah. And, <laughs> And then I told Chelsea how much I liked it, and then, and the, yeah, kind of like that. And then I told her how much I liked it, and on my birthday, she sent me one. Get out of here! Yeah! It's in my house. I hardly ever leave. What channel is her show you see on? This, uh, she's on E, but she apparently must have a lot yeah, of money because she what? bought she bought this chair, and she gave it to me, and I, I, I thought, I, I, was, I, I mean, that's not very that's Hollywood. Huge. That's huge! Did it have a bow on it? No, no. Ah, that's telling. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Yeah. But, All I'm uh, saying is you should do her show. She's lovely. And now and that she... And compliment now, her like on a diamond ring or yeah, something? Yeah, compliment, yeah. compliment her because maybe she'll give you stuff that's if you That's what say. I mean. Yeah, yeah. But she did name her dog Gary, so maybe we have not... Yeah. 
All right, so, well, I'm glad. <laughs> and it, does it vibrate the entire body or just the parts that... Are we talking Chelsea or the, or the chair? <laughs> Either one. Both of them do it for me. Okay. Yeah. As long as you lift and step. Oh, oh yeah, no, you got to do that. Listen, we're out of time. Um, so what do you, uh, what do you find? Oh, oh. Well, okay. you know? I'm so tense. They, they warned me. It was scary. So is a mouth organ, awkward pause, or a big cash prize? Mouth organ sounds too dirty. Uh, <laughs> wait. No, I did awkward pause with you before. Yes. Just then. I know. And so I do want the other one. What time is the Shadow Steven? It's time for the big cash prize. you can win. You can either answer my question or you can guess what's in my box. Here's how that works. Uh, I imagine a box in my head. I don't know what's in it. Only Jeff knows what's in it. Uh, if you guess, if you're right, great. If you're wrong, not so good. Okay. So I'm guessing what's in the box. Or here. answering a question. Oh, oh. Ooh, that's... All right, I'll answer a question. All right, then. <laughs> no. Okay, go ahead. All right, you ready? Yes. <clears throat> Iceland is in the North Atlantic. Its capital city is Reykjavik, right? This is a multiple choice question. Betty Crocker is C, a completely fictional character. <laughs> Betty Crocker is C, a completely fictional character. Am I supposed to be able to see her? No, 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 C. There's, oh, there's, okay. So it, there's is a multiple there choice. Is there a B? There's, there's an A and a B, but you wouldn't be interested in okay. them. So but Betty Crocker is <laughs> C... A completely fictional character. I'm going to go with C. Completely fictional character! Yeah. Yeah. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. My next guest is a very talented actor. He stars in Veep, which airs Sundays on the HBO. Take a look. Please welcome Tony Hale, everybody, Tony Hale. Ah. Welcome, Tony. It's lovely to see you. Oh, it's nice. I so appreciate that you face your guests like that. Well, I can always turn the other way, if no, you like. I like it this way. It's, it's, a, it's a very <laughs> kind gesture. I have, you, have, you, have you been on shows where the, the, the host would not face you? Uh, no, but there's, there tends to be a little bit of a kind of a separation, which I think is typical, but this, I, I like the, very I like little, the, I like very the proximity. Little but no, not really any boundaries here at all. Okay, I, great. I don't, know if you, I don't know if you caught Carrie Fisher, but she was <laughs> actually touching me many yeah. times. Yeah, you're not going to get that from me. You're not going to touch me? Mm. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. <laughs> oh, come on. Hey, uh, uh, did you meet Carrie? Are you a Star Wars fan or anything? I, she passed by me, well, so well, I, I, got a, I got a glimpse. Right. She seems very nice. She's a lovely woman. I've known her for a very long time. Really? Adorable, yes. Yeah. Wow. I was actually in Star Wars. Were you? <laughs> what did you play? I was in C-3PO. I did the thing. No yeah. way! <laughs> Oh, my gosh. Yeah, yeah, Do you yeah. still have the suit? I still have the suit. I can't fit into it oh. anymore. I, you know, it's made of metal. But you can keep your, your kids. Uh, your kids can I keep it. my kids in it. That's right. right. Fantastic. It keeps them fresh. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Are you a Star Wars fan? Uh, yes. Yes. I, no, I You're was. not? I was. No, I, no, I was. I was. I was more of kind of uh, Harry Potter. I like Harry Potter oh, a lot. Oh, I like Harry Potter, yeah. Are you Gryffindor? Yes. And... Um, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and I heard that you had uh, uh, Drake, Drake Malf, Malf, what's it? Drake, Drake Malfoy? Malfoy? Yes, he's he's yes, been yes. here. Harry Potter's been here. Yep, he has? Yeah, in that very chair. He wow. sat there. Yeah, yeah. I'm his yeah. Patronus now. Really? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. No, it's amazing, though. Draco, when you're watching it, it's amazing the bitterness that you get from watching that kid on screen. Like, he makes... It made well, you, you, really... you wanted that part? <laughs> yeah, we went up for it together. Yeah, no, come on. Well, you didn't no, want to play just, a nasty English just such a, He was just such a bully to, was, yeah, to, Daniel, to sweet little Daniel Radcliffe. Yes, yes, I know. But, uh, you know, that, you know, learn things. In, but, you know. yeah, 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 yeah. So there you are. That's a fun one. So uh, what about Twilight? Do you like the Twilight? No, I've not seen one. Neither have I. I haven't. But I, I hate it really... anyway, just because... <laughs> <I know>. uh, <laughs> it's, it's just fun. Seems Seems to be a very reasonable position with yeah, the yeah, audience. Yeah, yeah. Haven't seen it, but hates it. Good yeah, yeah, for you. Yeah. Good. 
No, I just don't really... I mean, it seems fun. I just don't have that much of a desire to see it. No, no, what? You don't like vampires, then? Uh, no. I, I don't know why I didn't think about that. No, I don't, actually. <laughs> I actually do not like vampires. You don't like vampires. No. Now, are there any vampires in your show? Uh, Veep. No, there's not. Uh, there's now, is not. that because you that don't be like nice them, story or they just... <laughs> yeah, I had a say in that. Yeah, so they said, well, it's going to be a, uh, the vice president. <laughs> no, I said no. Uh, you... <laughs> no vampires. No vampires in the White House? No. Why? <laughs> I'm out. Are you scared of ghosts? Uh, ghost stories I don't like. You're scared of ghost stories? I think it's... that I... they'll be uh, not entertaining? <laughs> That would be terrifying. Ah, that scares me. Uh, no, I, I, when someone's telling a really creepy ghost story, I think it kind of freaks me out. But flashlight, if I was... Flashlight under the chin. Yeah, Does that yeah, get you? yeah, yeah, yeah. I, w I was the asthmatic kid in the corner. Just yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I... You do uh, a really... I bet you could do a really good impression of a mouse. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Is that good? Yeah, yeah, it's great. It's good. Do it again. Yeah, yeah that's great. Yeah. Yeah, nailed it. Uh, Thank you, you. you. You'll be up for the big live-action uh, mouse movie. I did actually... I played a mouse. You played a mouse? I was the voice of a mouse in Tale of Despero. I really? was uh, the voice of Furlough. Yeah. Wow! <laughs> You're welcome. That... Yeah, they applaud me not seeing Twilight, <laughs> but they don't applaud your movie. <laughs> Hell is wrong with you people. <laughs> what about... Would you ever dye your hair purple? Uh, if I had it, I would. Oh, come uh, on. You got hair, you got hair. Um, did you did you ever dye your hair purple? You know, I never I never dyed my hair at all, actually. Oh. But I, I I think it it takes guts to dye your hair. I think that was I just very brave. I really just dye. Just dye. <laughs> just dye. Yeah. But I, I I heard that it was there was it was originally supposed to be blonde. Yes. And went, yes. How does that was was it a, a tint of purple in it at all or? Well, what happens if, if your hair's dark? I, I'm not a professional hairdresser, oh, but I make oh, I see. but I make crap up all the time. Okay, yeah, uh, great. <laughs> Great, great, if, great, great, if your hair is dark and you put bleach in it and you don't leave it in long enough, I see. Then I see. it'll go purple. Okay. I once tried to. I, it looks. But it. <laughs> uh, no, no. I think. Well, I want to say it looks quite nice. I, really I, like I think it looks great. I like. I like yeah. the lavender color. I think it looks great. It looks it like does. I don't care. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's like I don't care. Screw you. Yeah. Like, hey. Done. I can, I can play a mouse. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Take that. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, how would you like to spend your time when you're not working? Uh, dressing up? <laughs> <laughs> dressing up uh, as a baby or something? Does that just, for like <laughs> just for kicks. Just for kicks. What do I do? Well, I have a six-year-old, so a lot, oh, of, my, a lot, a lot yeah. of my time is yeah, spent yeah. with my six-year-old, who yeah. is hilarious. Of course. She actually <laughs> she just drew a picture of me. I didn't say just. It was like four months ago. She drew this picture, and it was a stick figure. And she drew this large circle in the middle, which was my midsection, I imagine. Right. And then she put uh, earphones in the picture that I had earphones on. So my wife and I have concluded that she thinks I'm fat and detached. <laughs> you like that? You're just another American father. <laughs> exactly. Back of the board, son. Ah. All right. Yeah. Great. Real quickly, uh, mouse organ, awkward pause, big cash prize. I like awkward pause. Please. Awkward pause. Yes. <laughs> Do, throw a little mouse in. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we uh, went on too long tonight. We only have time to say, um, claws up, little monsters. <laughs> <laughs>